Pepper says, are you ready to start pulling out all these Christmas decorations? I know I am. It is that time of the year again. It is time to get back into this Christmas cave, pull out all of the Christmas bins and totes and decorations and start our Kamari Method on the Christmas Decoration Series. And many of you know that Christmas is my absolute favorite time of the year. I love this season. I have so many good memories of Christmas ever since childhood which is probably why I have an overabundance of Christmas decorations. I've always had a deep, deep emotional attachment to the Christmas decorations, but I know that if we take this all out and go through it, we will find things that we can let go. We've made such amazing progress this year recovering in our hoarding disorder, so I'm sure we'll be able to let go of pieces too. The good news is that we're going to bring it in the newly opened up space that we did in the basement. This is actually a very large space and I'm actually very happy to show you all the progress we made in here since summer. We really decluttered a lot of stuff. This is what it looked like before and it was piled up about as high as I am and I'm about 5'3". <laughs> and by doing baby step decluttering, each and every week, over time, you can really see how far we've come. And I can confidently say that we have let go of thousands upon thousands of items. I mean, look, look, this is the after. And I, I do feel really good. I feel really good that you can indeed heal and recover in your hoarding disorder and let things go. So that was our little mini updated basement tour, <laughs> but we have got to get back into the Christmas cave. Now, we gotta take all of this out. Hubby is actually sleeping because he's been working 12 hour shifts. So I have Tyler helping me pull the Christmas decor and some of the bins out. He definitely has been mommy's little helper. And he also does want a little more camera time moving into the future. And we're working on that, but for now we're going to keep his face off a camera just to protect his privacy. Now, this is a lot of work. Each and every year, hubby normally does this, but I'm going to chalk this up as a little cardio workout. We do not have to do any type of exercise today. The other thing that we're gonna be doing in this series is also organizing all the Christmas decorations. As we were decluttering, we found a lot of random Christmas stuff all over the place, and I just funneled in in here. So we're going to be organizing, we're gonna be working out, we're already ahead of our <laughs> New Year's resolutions. Also, anything that is brand new that could be a Christmas gift to somebody else, we're also gonna be gathering all of that into one container so that we can shop our hoarded stash for Black Friday instead of going out to the stores. And something else that's really inspiring me is that there's still a lot of random stuff in here that has nothing to do with Christmas or Easter. So after we're done the Kamari series on the Christmas decorations, I'd really like to get the random stuff out of here and completely clean out the cave so that when Christmas is done, we'll have a lot of space to put it away. Now, there are some things that I'm going to actually keep in the cave for now, which is the big Christmas tree in the back. I don't need to declutter that. And also the bin of all the elf on the shelf things because Tyler is right outside and I don't wanna ruin any of the fun Christmas surprises for him. So just for now, we'll keep it in here. And let's not forget that we still have bins of Christmas stuff outside of the cave. This is not in the cave. We need to bring this over. Same with these tubs over here, yes. Even more Christmas stuff that is outside of the Christmas cave. But in true Kamari method, I need to make sure that I'm bringing everything and piling it up all in one spot. And since this most likely will be a three, four part series because of the amount of stuff we have, I'm actually 
really excited for that because I know that we can thoroughly declutter and organize all the Christmas stuff before we hit December. And here it is in all of its glory. All of the Christmas totes are pulled out into this cleared out section of the basement. In true Kamari style, we have everything stacked up, ready to go. Is it a lot? Sure. <laughs> But that's quite okay because we're not going to put pressure on ourselves, especially when a lot of these pieces make me so happy. It's just an opportunity for us to go through everything, be more organized and curate the pieces we love. This is a lot of stuff to go through. And, and because there's so many bins, I'm going to be making the commitment that for the November no spend challenge and I'm going to be doing a December no spend challenge. That's the first time I'm ever doing that. I can make a commitment that I'm not going to buy any more holiday Christmas decor this year. We have so much stuff that we're going to be giving a lot of it away. So why am I going to go to the store and buy really high priced Christmas items when I can just really be in peace and happiness and joy and grateful for all the pieces that I have because we're going to be going through all of it. <laughs> all right, so to get started, I think what's best is that I'm gonna start with this end over here and then I'm gonna to start to work my way down. That's what's feeling really good in my heart. And the first thing I'm gonna let go of is this poinsettia right here. I feel like I have so many poinsettias, so we're going to let this go first. The next box is clearly a sentimental box. This was the Christmas decorations I kept at my parents' house. When I was a kid, I drew on the box, and we're going to take it down and go through it. Now, a lot of this stuff I am going to be emotionally attached to, but we can at least go through some of the items. And I'm seeing that some of this stuff is actually through college because I had these pony ornaments in college, but that's okay. There's always something that you can declutter, like the deteriorating tissue paper that's protecting your pony ornament. <laughs> that that can go. <laughs> I wouldn't mind condensing this into one box because I know I have other childhood memories too. But this right here, these two items, I can totally let this go, which is surprising that I'm not feeling an attachment to it, but I'm not. And this box right here, well, guess what? More sentimental stuff. Oh boy, that's okay. We can give a quick look through because some of it's from the 2000s and then some of it is from the 90s. So again, we're just going to be getting all of that sentimental childhood stuff together and then we're going to condense it into one box as we're doing this series. Now this right here, this white bin, I actually see some tossy tossies, like of course the bubble wrap, we can let that go. Random piece of paper, sweet, we're on a roll. More bubble wrap, all right, here we go. And this actually, I wanna reuse this this year. This could make a really cute little gift container, so sticking with that no spend. And this little Christmas rug, I used to have two of them, but I think I got rid of the other one and honestly, I never used it in years, so we are going to let this go. Now, this bin right here really has a lot of random things like this coffee can. I was gonna do a Christmas craft on that years ago. Uh, we can definitely tossy tossy it. And as I go through a lot of this stuff, I mean, we can let go of a lot of this. I can't use these coffee cups. There's like rust and crap on it. And if I want to create some kind of coffee can Christmas craft, I can always ask a neighbor or a friend on my Facebook Towns Giving page to save me one or two or a couple because fortunately, Miss Hart doesn't drink coffee because her ADHD and coffee don't really mix well. <laughs> but let me tell you, as I go through like 90% of this bin, I can either reuse it for this Christmas, but most of it, I can recycle it. I can let it go. I don't feel an attachment to hold on to it anymore. My nervous system is registering that this is safe, that this is all safe to let go of. And the only things that I'm really saving are these bags because they're in excellent condition and I can use it this year. So again, staying within that no spend. 
but I feel so good being able to let go of most of this Christmas stuff without feeling a panic attack or anxious or fear. I'm showing signs of healing and recovering in my hoarding disorder. And to make sure that I'm successful in my continuing healing journey, this is my tossy tossy pile for this episode. This is a lot of Christmas stuff for me. And in my heart, this is what feels good. We're going to be giving it on the Facebook Townsgiving page. A majority of it is going to be recycled because it is a lot of paper and boxes and tissue paper. So that can be recycled. But overall, for episode one, this is a lot of Christmas stuff. And I'm, I'm very proud of myself for letting go of this much stuff. And this is what the inside of the Christmas cave is looking like right now. There's just some of the outdoor decorations. Hubby kind of deals with that. And I'm really looking forward to doing this series as we continue each week decluttering more Christmas stuff, completely clearing out the Christmas cave so we can really get this space the way that we want it to look. My hope, my prayer is that this video encouraged and motivated you to declutter something in your home today too.